What do you think really happens after death? It's one of the great wonders of life. What will it be like to go to sleep and never wake up? And if you think long enough about that, something will happen to you. You will find out, among other things, that it will pose the next question to you. What was it like to wake up after never having gone to sleep? That was when you were born. You see, you can't have an experience of nothing. Nature abhors a vacuum. Tilda Allen Watts. Scrolled way too far to find this, excellent quote. Your family fights for your belongings. Only child, executor and sole heir for my mum's estate. Pros, zero arguments. Cons, zero help. When we die, the whole world is seen by us, dies together with us. Thanks Prime underscore molester. Of all the comments on this thread, yours filled me with the most existential dread. Sounds like a problem for dead me. Existentially speaking, this comment is actually helpful. I've spent much time contemplating when I was younger. If someone had just said this to me I think I would have had so many fewer issues. Play again? Greater than yes. Greater than no. Edit, thanks for the awards. I don't know what they mean or how to utilize them. I'm a Buddhist, but a gamer first and foremost, so it's cool you guys made those connections. This totally makes up for R, movies continuously banning me. Now this would be pretty cool. You play the same game over and over again, you start on your same dob every time with a new life. When you're in the game, you have no recollection of your past lives obviously. When you die you return to the main menu and then you can see every life you played and can review them all. This time around I lived to be 80, was a neurosurgeon, had two kids, etc. Game number 5 I lived to be 26 and died in a car accident. Game number 82 I was AP star. Then you could watch important moments from each of those lives. Essentially see how well you did. And why not, you get a score at the end. I'm a believer that after you die that it's just lights out, but I'd be satisfied with this type of existence. I always wake up when I die in my dreams. I've had dreams where it seemed like I lived a lifetime. So perhaps you're onto something. Maybe we just wake up and say, that was a crazy dream, and go on with our day. I have no idea but we're all going together. I think one of your best friends deletes your browsing history. We clean the bed and assign it to another patient. Bag M and tag M. Exactly the same as before you were born. It wasn't so bad. This thread gave me anxiety but I can't stop scrolling lol. I don't know about you but I am supposed to get a free ice cream sundae. You wake up in a chair in a cinema and learn that the other are past lives of you and you're about to watch your next life very soon on the big screen. All the people watching me now just keep yelling, you this bitch is stupid. Probably. When I was a kid I drowned while on holiday with my family. A giant fat man jumped in the pool on top of me and no one noticed till I was on the bottom of the pool. I remember the feeling of my lungs being on fire then shivering then as everything was going dark a strange sense of peace and I was okay with it, no panic or terror then it went black. I was resuscitated at the side of the pool a few minutes later. I remember nothing from the black to being alive again. I was around 7 when it happened and since then I've been strangely at peace with the fact that one day I will die and slip into the dark void of nothingness. Hope that helps. I fell in a pool at 6 and had a very similar experience. I kinda only remember feeling at peace, then nothing, and then tasting vomit soon after and having a really bad headache. All things are made of atoms. They are everywhere and they constitute everything. They are fantastically durable. Every atom you possess has almost certainly passed through several stars and been part of millions of organisms on its way to becoming you. We are so atomically numerous and so vigorously recycled at death that a significant number of our atoms, up to a billion for each of us, it has been suggested probably once belonged to Shakespeare, Dot and any other historical figure you care to name. So we are all reincarnations, those short-lived ones. When we die, our atoms will disassemble and move off to find new uses elsewhere, as part of a leaf or other human being or a drop of dew. Atoms themselves, however go on practically forever. Bill Bryson. I had to scroll too far for this. Your physical body is dead, but your atoms continue doing atom things. While telling a story too inappropriate for this thread, comedian Jim Jeffries talked about his childhood best friend Daniel Connor and his brother, Andrew. Dan was born with muscular dystrophy. Throughout his life, he had been dead at least seven times and was brought back each time. 
When Jim asked him what happens after death, he responded with. Nothing. Edit. This is my most upvoted comment ever. Thank you everyone and thank you to the kind stranger who presented me with a wholesome award. I shall cherish it forever. Maybe it was just a long loading screen. I believe we just stop existing, nothingness. However I do think we still exist in a cosmic universal sense, it all depends on time and space. My grandmother died recently, 98 years a good run. She no longer exists now in 2021, but she's still around young and in her 20s in the 1940s. The only thing that separates us are two things time and space. We don't blip out completely we still exist along the flow of time. Did that make any sense? Little tipsy here. The ones who love us will miss us, Keanu. Edit. Wow. This is the most upvote, comment I've gotten. That answer is the best and the most accurate answer to this question. Keanu, link. I personally think you just stop existing and only the memory of you lives on in the head of the people around you. Absolutely nothing for an indeterminate amount of time. And then, because of the vastness of the universe, and one of those, infinite monkeys and infinite typewriters, type things, poof. Your, sense of self, pops back up somewhere else. Perhaps another planet billions of light years away. I only imagine that, not really believe it, because of the improbability that my consciousness exists now based on the age of the universe. Give my the age of the universe and my age, it seems quite improbable that my consciousness exists at all. So maybe it always exists. Just a thought, as I travel through existence. Thank you for watching. We upload new videos every day, so be sure to come back for more fun. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed the video.